Hey guys, thanks for joining the Captain's Log today. Check it out. By the way, if you haven't liked and shared the post, please do so. I do this every day. I don't know. Anyway, Tim Ayton is our guest today. He is the uh, famous reporter that you know locally for In The Know column. And we're gonna learn about some new restaurants coming your way and it's all exciting, good stuff. Get ready, cause the Captain's Log's right at you. Good morning, back again on the Captain's Log, Tim Ayton. In the know, hey. buddy. You're the star yeah, of this, this whole great. town. You write all the <laughs> columns. Everybody wants to follow you, know what's going yeah, but, on next. But, but this is the seat, man. This is like the Tonight Show. <laughs> I feel like a lot of famous people have sat here. We are respect. having fun. Yes, I tell you, it's season two of the Captain's Log. And I, I keep saying that season one only took 13 years to finish. Uh, I don't know why I never said season two throughout all those years. I know. But, and you've hit, but, what, like more than like a couple hundred, right? Yeah, 200 yeah. episodes. I wow. should have said two, season two at some point, right? Wow. But I'm not, I wasn't that organized up until recently. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you should be live on there if you see it now. And then uh, we're going to take a little ride and see what's going on. I want to know right. what's in the know. <laughs> That's the key, right? Oh, this time of year is a lot happening. In fact, I, I was so inundated the last, the end of the year just hits. I felt like I get hit by a truck every year. It's just so much to do to catch it up. It really is. To look back, review, and to look ahead is crazy. But, but there's a lot what's coming. What's the big stuff? Tell me some good stuff. I want to well, know. Well, coming up, we have, we have uh, between January and February, what we just know, there's eight new restaurants coming each of those months. So we're going to have 16 new restaurants at least wow. in January and February. And, and there's uh, a few right here, right? You got the Havana Blue. And, yeah. Yeah, um, over here, a Cuban, yeah, the Cuban restaurant. The one that I think I'm interested in trying the pizza is a Mr. 01 Extraordinary that's Pizza. That's the guy from Miami, right? Yes. Oh, makes a star pizza. Yeah, exactly. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm yeah, going to totally try that, that one. And, uh, and there's another pizza place coming in February that I'm interested in. Is uh, the guys that do lowbrow? Have you been down there? Oh yeah, Chris, yeah, Chef Chris, Chris Jones. is my good oh, buddy. Yeah. yeah, he's he's opened another place. Yeah, he's doing one called Industry Pizza and Slice Shop, which is nice. going to be on Pine Ridge in uh, in that little area where there's um, Patrick's and Bonjour and Chinatown and that little yeah, strip yeah, back that's, there. Oh, that little good. Do- it was the dog bakery. <laughs> before. I know exactly what you're but anyway, talking about. Anyway, he's going to have slices, New York slices, and, and they're good, like with from 24 inch pies. And I, I really want to. I love wanna, that. I, I know. I can't wait to try I that. Because it's different than what he's doing at Lowbrow, but it's going right, to you know be good. Right, because his pizza's um, more of like a rustic kind of brick oven, right? So yeah. is he going to do a New York style? Is that what right. he's doing? Big slices? New York, and he's, oh, doing, and he's going to do some like. Um, Detroit squares too, but he's the mainly he's, he's doing the the slices, and, and that's what's good. You can get it yeah. by the slice because you, you can't find that much. No, no. I mean you can for lunch some yeah. places. I go but to Mamma Mia's. He's for doing a nice lunch slice. exactly, and yeah. Pepe's is good. Yeah, for slices, but they're only during lunch, and so that's this right. guy he's doing them all all day. I love so, that. Yeah, I love that. Chef Chris is is a good friend of mine, and he's phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, he came from so many different country clubs and. Uh, what he's doing now is great. I just I love everything that he did yeah, with the food great, truck and all that. Good sense of humor and it's yeah. just yeah, that's what's funny about it. It's just one of those you get chuckles going in there. So, so when is the uh, is the place with the star pizza guy coming? Because I I haven't seen any it's, build out yet. Yeah, it's supposed to be in February. Okay. So I think I'm not sure. I think close to February first, but I'm not certain exactly what date. And that's the thing. That's kind of a moving target. You know, even even if they tell you. A date. It's not not necessarily for sure. There are two for sure. It's opening though on January twenty first, and that's uh, one of them is the Yard House, which I'm excited. I can't about. wait. Yeah, that I've one. Been is many times even, in West Palm, the food yes. is phenomenal. The atmosphere is always lit, and uh, well, I've been I want to try. People too. Yeah, and I'm going to try to get in there and do a pre story on just how the beer lines work. There's like miles of beer lines. They have 130 kegs they tap. Wow, or more than 130. Yeah, up, up on the whole f- uh, second floor. And so, um, no, it's exciting to, to find. Even though it's a chain, it still is a smaller yeah, type of chain. Do, I mean, it's part the, of Darden. The food they do is really good, though. I have to admit, yeah. like, I'll go there every once in a while. I'll be in West Palm Beach on a Sunday. I'm telling you, people line up at the door oh. to get a seat for the game. Oh. That's how busy it is. No, I knew it was going to be big. And then that same day, the first Nukes Eatery opens here. Wait, what's that one? You got me on that one. It's like a, it's a kind of a counter service. It's, it's American comfort food. It's a, a place that's going to, the first one's going to be on Naples Boulevard. And is this a, a chain or is this a... It's a chain, yeah. They have it's like called around, Nukes? Yeah, Nukes Eatery. And they, I think I've uh, seen it in a magazine, but I've never been. Yeah, and so they're going to, we're going to have three of them here probably around, but 
before this time next year we'll have because there's going to be a second one okay it's going to be at logan's landing at logan and where's and the, the first one going? the first one's going to be in that little strip they built in front of hollywood 20 on naples boulevard yeah 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 so it'll be uh they'll have outdoor dining Oh, nice. There, and, That's and right, be, right around the corner, yeah. Yeah, so it, it's, it's uh, real nice people that are, the franchisees live in Bonita, and they own, like, um, three of them, I believe, in uh, New Orleans area, and so they'll, they're going to have three here. They're going to have, there'll be another one up on Alico. What kind of food is it? It's it's kind of like comfort food, soup, salads, um, you know, hamburgers, sandwich, a lot of, like, sandwich type okay. of stuff, and, um, but I think, I think that it, it probably will do okay, and then we have, um, some other ones that are uh, one uh, that other one guess has probably the most buzz of any restaurant um, around is that Rocco's Tacos, phenomenal, which is coming in in probably phenomenal. mid January. It might even open the same day for that matter. January Rocco's 21st. Tacos out of control, good, love yeah, it. So, I love the yeah, DJ. I love the big. hype atmosphere. I mean, another place from the East Coast that is jammed, yes. literally jammed every day. Yep. I think they're going to crush it at oh, the yeah. Ricotta. Oh, totally. No, no doubt. Yeah. So that one is, like I said, it's got more, it's got the, the, it only, the only one that rivaled that for, for buzz and probably, you know, exceeded it was the Celebration Park food truck. Oh, yeah. Park oh, that yeah. Just opened Which last is time. great. I've yeah. been there like four times already. Yeah. And yeah. I love going there. But that had a huge buzz. And yep. so does Rocco's Tacos. And so does the, another one that's coming. Uh, this season to Mercado is Two J's Deli, which is again Two another, one another East, East Coast, Coast guy. Exactly, just Food's like great. I'm so happy they're coming. Yeah. So were they going uh, where the old Deli? Yeah, where Stage Sixty Two really? Deli was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Two J's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. How about their soup? Do you ever have it? No, I haven't been oh, there. Oh, their matzo ball I have not soup. Been. I've always heard about. It. In fact, people started asking me about them like more than five years ago. Yeah. When is Two J's going to come? You know why? Because they were looking at the place where I'm at. Oh, they were. They were. Well, they were also looking at the pavilion across uh, over there. At, uh, I, they were pretty yeah, close yeah. to striking a deal where I where I opened right. off the hook, and um, a lot yeah. of people were though because I've heard. I remember oh, your yeah. place was one that was also going to be the first location for Twin Peaks. Oh, really? In in Southwest Florida, wow. they were going to open there before they did the one up in Alico. Okay. That place is so busy. I know, but They're but I don't, so busy, for some yeah. reason they didn't. And then another one who was going to come there before you was. Um, Charles Meriday was going to oh, do, yeah. A, a, yeah, do yeah. a place. Yeah. He told me he actually told me that, and then it wasn't long before he ended up. I think the, I think the uh, the the um, Regency Center was pretty picky on who they wanted oh. there, so I think it took a little uh, local buzz, right? Like so right, they, right. they kind of were like, "Look, we want you to go there." So <laughs> that's I think what happened. Well, but and, well, you've had the most longevity because you you're like at least the fourth. Um, yeah. place to go in there yeah um or maybe fifth even because because be. there were yeah because it started when i remember the first one was um encore was that's right was encore yeah. and they were there only a couple of years and then there was um cafe italia mm -hmm. which was only there a couple of years yep. and then there was the next two were only there like a year latitude yeah. and bond yeah i don't think so, any of them really had like something you could seek your ten seek your teeth into I think that was most of it but right. in general the plaza is really like shopping and the restaurants at night there's there's not very many in that area right now right. so um, no but you got a great location we're though packed. because yeah and because it, and I get to use all this parking <laughs> yeah yeah <and> it's like, <laughs> that's why it's great but it's like seven more than seven thousand square feet I think right so it's, it's, it's 8500 yeah, oh wow it's pretty that's big. good the kitchen's huge uh, actually we have two kitchens the front kitchen and the back kitchen so the original people I guess that originally designed it we only did a minor construction but I guess they thought they were gonna serve you know 10 thousand people a day because they built it like a hotel oh my the God. kitchen's insane <laughs> so but, but yeah you're, you'll be coming up on your fourth anniversary though, that's this right year, i think yeah. so you you've already survived more than any yeah. of those other two put together right so yeah. that's good i mean we had an ongoing business it's been almost 14 years now mm -hmm. so that was uh really just a, a good move for us but that makes it makes it makes it nice you know now right. that we're we're there and we're actually putting in a new stage next week oh wow! so that should be cool not a whole new stage we already did that but we're putting in a whole new backdrop so we're, we're redesigning the back of the stage which is cool because we've been doing so much with video and we're recording and we had some clips just hit two three million views so um with the comedians, you know, oh, on stage. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're going to really, um, in 2019, we're shooting 4K, three cameras, like, every night at the shows. And it's been doing really well on Instagram and Facebook and even YouTube. So that's oh, our that's new good. move for 2019.
Well, that's great. Well, I know that you've got the two different names. You've got the Rose Seafood and then you've got the Off the Hook. So what do you, do you see your place as a, a comedy club with a restaurant or a restaurant with a comedy club? Or how um, do you I, as far as that goes, honestly, I want it to be a restaurant with a comedy club because I want people to eat. But everybody does eat now and we're clearly a comedy club. So it's kind of been a transition. Originally, we were a restaurant. Then we went to restaurant with a comedy club. And now it's it's pretty full scale comedy club 24 seven. I mean, we're doing shows every night except Monday. So Tuesday through Sunday, there's just shows. So it's very mm-hmm. hard even to come in for the, for the restaurant right. unless you are watching a show, um, which is great because then I get to feed them and they get to laugh and they get to buy a ticket. So <laughs> it works out good and, for us. And the drinks. Don't forget and they drink. get the drinks. Yeah. Cause I had the new vodka and the rum. Yeah, Have you tried that yet? No, I want to you though. That sounds try. great. I'll though. give you a bottle I, I, of uh, uh, Captain Brian's vodka or rum, whatever your preference is. Uh, when we leave, that's my departing gift. I get people on the captain's lot; they get a gift, you know. Uh, that's funny. So, so, so I know you started like nine years ago, though. You were down, or not nine years ago? You were nine that, years in Marco. Yes. So, how did you start with the comedy, though? What what uh, started so, that? So, because originally in two thousand one, when I opened uh, Captain Brian's, it was like a takeout concept, and then uh, when we grew to the the two hundred seater in Marco Island. Basically, at the end of 8 o'clock at night, I was like, wow, I think it's going to be pretty slow if we don't figure out what to do for a late night. And I just one day decided, these guys are just going to have a conversation right across the car to car. (laughs) Uh, So then I just decided that we needed to do something late at night. And that's really all it was, was a decision to do late night entertainment. And it started growing and growing and growing. But the BP oil spill was really, I think one of the reasons why we changed the whole concept um, to doing national comedy acts all the time Mm -hmm. was because it was so slow during that time Mm -hmm. and people were like hesitant to eat the seafood. Remember there was that, well, we shouldn't eat seafood. It affected us so bad that I basically... Or they thought there was oil on the beach. Right, yeah. They didn't know, right, right, exactly. So during that transition, I basically started just doing huge like national acts every week and focusing on the local uh, Fort Myers, Naples, and Marco Island clientele to come to the restaurant for the comedy. Wow. And that's that's it. After that, yeah. it became 50% comedy, 50% restaurant, and then it, it kept going and, you know, the restaurant became secondary to the comedy. Well, how did you have, have can you have connections with the national acts? How did you come You know what? That? It, it really just started where I would just, was knocking on Hollywood 24-7. That's it. But it's easier now, I'm guessing. Right? Now it now they call me 24-7. <laughs> now it's more of a pain in the butt. To, you know. Oh, my gosh. But the great. thing is... That's a nice is, problem to have. It is. It is. But it's still always a challenge to, to put the right act on the right week. Mm. And also, they have to be available. Like So you, right. you have to work together all the time. Like If you're not talking and looking at calendars and schedules and who's available every day, like you might miss something that could have fit perfect for the schedule. Right. Because you only have 52 weeks. Mm -hmm. And every weekend, if you don't have like a a winner, then it's really, you know, then it's a loss for the business. So you got to try to shoot for wins every week. Like this week, we have a really big act tonight, tomorrow. The guy's got like 4 million followers on social media, Michael Blackson. And he's the guy that has the uh, the roast battles with Kevin Hart every every day oh, on okay. Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. They just go back and forth at each other. But he's doing two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. And uh, those are packed. So that that's great. You know, like mm-hmm. we just came off of Tom Cotter for New Year's Eve, which was really good. Mm-hmm. And that was two sold out shows. And then to have Michael Blackson the following week because this would be a slow weekend for us. It's hard to do, like, coming off of New Year's, how many people want to go back out and party again? Right. But then when I find a guy like Michael Blackson who has his built-in audience, like, you know, he just puts out a tweet and a a message on his Instagram (laughs) that he's going to be here, and all of a sudden everyone wants to show up. So that's, that's that's what, like, my focus is every day is you have to find those because there's not... There's not those guys calling me. Like, I still have to go out and, re- and say, hey, look, I want you on this weekend. So, which, uh, which works out really good. That's good. Um, barbecue. What's your favorite barbecue? Oh, uh, there's there's some good ones. I mean, I think that I don't... Um, 
have a personal favorite necessarily, but I know that um, Black Eyed Pig is oh, one yeah, of the Black favorite Eyed ones Pig's around. Great. And you know, and the one thing too, that's there are at least three barbecue places coming this year that are. Coming. I know one so, that's coming that yeah, I'm really excited about. Well, there's Naughty Hog uh, Backyard oh. Barbecue, which has the f a food truck down at Celebration Park, is opening up a oh. brick and mortar place. Okay. They're going to be at uh, where the old Joey D's was at uh, Pine Ridge and Collier Boulevard back uh, in that. Yeah. Public uh, oh, yeah. shopping center, okay. Berks Village. Yep. Yeah, so they're going to be opening up probably around February 1st. And then there's um, another the one coming called, uh, tentatively called Off the Bone Rib Shack. Okay. And it's going to be in Logan's Landing again, but they're building where the uh, new shopping center at Logan and, and Immokalee. The um, which is called, oh I know right, what yeah it's is. gonna yeah in fact uh, Sprouts Farmers Market will be that's the first be the, local one will be yep. he, that's opening February twentieth so everything else will be after that and and they're gonna I don't think they get possession for the for the uh, restaurant the, the shells uh, to build out until like February first so, oh so then so things will take months, sixty yeah. to ninety days it depends on what the place Probably. is some of them are gonna be longer yeah I think the off the bone won't be till uh, is that a chain next or a fall. local guy it's local oh cool in fact it's the uh, the behind it is uh, Randy Seiler of Pelican Larry's. Yeah, yeah. Sure, so he, I know Randy. he's doing it, but then he's got some. He won't. He hasn't given me the name yet, but he's got some local barbecue guy. I don't Very know who, cool. Who it is? It could be a number of people. And then there's a guy at uh, at the farmers market on Vanderbilt. Right? Yes. The pit, is it yes. Pitmaster? Pit, pit Commander. Pit Command. I love it. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, and that's going to be a cool place too. Again, down on Bay Shore. You're going to have a lot of synergy there between that and the Celebration Park. But he's got, yeah, he's uh, Central Texan Barbecue. Oh, my God. His brisket's uh, out of control. Yeah. Have you tried that? Yeah, it's good. Oh. Yeah, and he has, and he's there. He just came back, uh, I think, uh, Saturdays. Now he's at Vanderbilt. Uh, yes. Again. On, on that, Saturday the Farmers morning. Market. Yeah, yeah. And so, but he'll be there full time at the, the and that's going to be cool, like a garden setting out in the, and again, and it's going to be a brew house. They're going to do their own beer there. Very and cool. And he'll be the main food. That's excellent. Down That's there. excellent. So, and then he's also going to uh, branch off and do. He calls it Texapolitan Pizza. Oh. And uh, and I think he's going to start that there. It may not be right away, but he'll be offering that. Down That'll there be too. interesting. Yeah, I love pizza. I can eat pizza for breakfast. <laughs> Lunch yeah, and dinner. Me too. <laughs> do you do you eat a lot of pizza? I do, yeah, and I, it's uh, and I, probably too much, but but yeah, I love it. In fact, that's always that's a joke in my family because like it was me too. Birthdays, people go to get steakhouse. I go want to go out and pizza. Yeah, pizza. when I eat pizza, like if it's not New York pizza, I eat a different style. Yeah. that means I can still eat New York pizza for, <laughs> like the, right like for the next meal. It's not it real doesn't pizza. count, <laughs> right? Exactly. So I'll just eat, that's and I have to watch it because it's like how many more carbs do I? To eat today. And, uh, you know one when you that I'm looking forward to trying and I've never had before is is that new um, a Bruzo place that's coming at shops across from you yeah, corner but, where, on the where Cafe Alfredo was. Right, right, right. On They're going to have fried pizza. Really? Yeah, and I've never had that, so I'm kind of interested to see. I what it's drive like. my bike by there every day and I peek in because I go to the gym right there and. Uh, it looks like they're kind of getting close. Yeah. I think they just... They, they might be opening this week, actually. Right, because I don't think they did a full remodel. They no. just cleaned it up. And no, and they didn't really need to. And they've got that Correct. that really nice pizza. Oven. Yeah. So they're going to use that. They're going to have regular pizzas, too. Coal-fired, okay. Neapolitan-style pizzas. But they're also going to do this fried pizza, which I'm kind of interested really? in. Really? So... Now, is it, is it that... They have another location? Yeah, they're at, uh, in the pavilion. Right. Next to the, the Paragon Right next pavilion to the theater. movie theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, they've been there for years, and um, so this will be a second. And they claim they're going to keep the first one open. I kind of wonder if that's just until the lease runs out, because it seems kind of close to have. There, it's only two and a half miles apart between the two locations. Right. So I wouldn't think they're going to really keep the first one open after too long. But oh, you knows? think the one at the Maybe they will. Yeah. Maybe they will, because they might be know. different. It's smaller, right? That place is, is much smaller yeah, where they are yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, because that's one thing. This was this is two units where they're going, so yeah. it was uh, it's a pretty nice place. So uh, I can't believe ten years, my God! And that plaza has gotten so busy where the pavilion is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's packed I, all. The yeah, time. And you know what? When I, when when Publix left there, moved across to you know the marketplace at Pelican Bay, I thought this this is gonna this shopping center is gonna be dead, dead. It's gonna die. But then L.A. Fitness went in there, and that actually is bit busier than ever. It's, I think it's they, I can't way believe, busier than yeah, ever. Yeah, I can't believe all. You the can't even park there half the time. 
it's so busy. I know, and it's not even built out. They, they have to still, they have still those units to fill on the other side yep. where, where Key West Bar and Grill used to be. That's right. And um, it seems like there's another one over there. But so yeah, you'll, you'll probably, and that's where 2J's was going to go at first. Oh, okay. Um, so, so they're liable to see, you're going to probably have somebody there eventually big too. I'm surprised that 2J's is taking that small unit because they used to be, they're huge usually, like big mm -hmm. stores. Maybe it's because it's their first time on this market. They wanted to just... I don't know. I didn't even realize that that's, that it was a lot smaller than what they normally do. Yeah, their but... footprint is usually really big. Like a Jason's Deli. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's something... No, that... people are excited about, though, because I, over the years, I get asked the most about a New York-style cuisine. Like, when is it... When we went up there, always... Because New Yorkers, and you yeah. I mean, know you can relate, are always yeah. looking for the best pizza. Of course. The best pastrami sandwich. The best yep. bagel. And and the best you know Jewish deli, and New I York can't deli. leave out pastrami dance, my all time oh, favorite. Yeah. yeah, it's good. I love, love, love. Yeah. I go in pastrami dance and I get half roast beef with cheddar and gravy, and the other side of the sandwich. Oh, you pastrami? Yeah, oh, you got to wow. go for the combo. That you got to tell good. them. That sounds and good. And then the other side, I get uh, pastrami with Swiss pickles and mustard. Oh my god! And then I get a super taco. You have the soup taco there? No, I haven't. Oh, my God. No, I want to go there for that. Though. you got to have the soup yeah. taco. It's delicious. And they put the cheese on it. And it like, the grilled cheese gets burnt on the edge. Oh, oh my God. It's so delicious. No, they've been around a long time. Probably, yeah. like, 40 years, I think. Yeah, so. it's it's uh, it's been amazing. And every time you go in, it's busier and busier. So, he does good. I'm happy for him. They're always good. watching. So, hey, guys, what's happening? <laughs> anyway, uh, anything else you want to tell me? I've learned a lot of good stuff, but is there anything? You have a diamond in the rough? Otherwise, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, well, I, I also do my Monday column, which people are, I hope they will write in up for the Q&A. So it's a yeah. question and answer. People will write in all kinds of things. And, and I, I like covering the development actually more than the restaurants. And you'll because... post your uh, your contact information in the comments so people sure. can write into you. They ask questions. Uh, you know Tim from In The Know always has the best information about the up-and-coming restaurants. Mm -hmm. You do other stuff besides restaurants, but that's your key, right? Yeah, that, that's the most popular. People just love it. Like I said, they eat it up. They just can't they really enough. do. So, and then, yeah, the Monday, like coming up this Monday, I've got a thing on Waterside Shops, the Apple Store. People want to know when it's going to reopen, and it's not going to be till the fall. Wait, and, I didn't even uh, know it was closed. Oh, yeah, it's been closed since September. They're remodeling. It's going to be a huge store. They, really? They, they took over where the old Talbots was, and they're they're expanding. And I'm not sure exactly what wow. they're doing yet, but I hope to find out by well, then. Well, that's great. And, that's uh, good yeah. news. See, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's good. And Starbucks, though, is closing there. So they're, they are. They're going more towards to drive-throughs and that kind of thing, which they've been opening. So they're not yeah. going to be in Star in uh, Waterside anymore after it's January 11th. Wow. Well, that's in the know, guys. See, <laughs> get your own little episode today on the Captain's Log. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate well, thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Appreciate you taking a ride thanks, with Kurt. me. It's interesting, and uh, 2019 is going to be a great year. Oh, and yeah. Stay in touch. We'll do it again. All right. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Captain's Log. I had a good time when Tim Ayton was our guest. And uh, he's the man from In The Know. I learned a lot of good stuff, what's coming on the marketplace here in Naples, Florida. And uh, don't forget, if you get thirsty, certainly just go and get a Captain Brian vodka or rum because uh, that's one of our sponsors. And of course, I own the company, so you might like that. Um, Captain Brian, C-A-P-T-A-I-N-B-R-I-E-N.com. Check it out. We got some good gear, too, some cool merch if you want to buy that. And uh, we'll be back at you tomorrow with the Captain's Log. Thanks for tuning